Oh boy, here's the thing we, we didn't do the other day. We've been putting it off. We got to review Star Wars Ahsoka Episode 3. So, normally I would have done a spoiler review right afterwards, yeah, yeah, but... Yeah. I can't stay I up didn't. to watch it because it's too late for me. So I can't stay up till part like three, time to fly. This was only yeah. a half hour episode. Not much happened. This is spoilers, by the no. way. Um, the first five minutes were good because you get Sabine is training right. with you, Han. And I really, the more I'm watching this, the more I'm enjoying seeing you, Han, because this is such an obscure character from the Clone Wars. And from other uh, Star Wars media, like his, comics his and that. His job was, I guess, to train Books. the the Padawans. Yeah, he taught them, them how to... Not them Padawans, they were the little... I don't even know if they were called Padawans. The younglings. The, yeah, younglings. You know, younglings before they become yeah. Padawans and teach them how to make a lightsaber and that. Yeah. So, nice that we still get a character that's a remnant from the High Republic there before yeah. it fell. But then again, so is Ahsoka, in a way. She's a remnant from that area. But, so the first five minutes... You had uh, Hu Yang and Sabine are training. Uh, Soka comes in. She's doing her now stereotypical arm cross, which she does all the time. Yeah. Uh, she's and then she's outfit. trained with them. Anyway, it goes for five minutes, and it was great. I had no problem with that. It was very similar to Luke with the yeah. Visor and that's exactly and the what's supposed. But it's yeah. also supposed to uh, speak to every every uh, Jedi with their with right. their Padawan. Okay, because we've seen that with other as well. However, so that's great. And then it goes into this ridiculous scene of General Hera yeah, Syndulla like talking to some to the Supreme Chancellor no. and the Senators. This is a complete waste of having a Mon Mothma appearance and it makes her look really dumb. And why would a general go and do this? That ask? scene started taking the credibility. Yeah, who down. wrote this, okay? That scene Anyway, sorry, I'm not trying that to rip scene on them, but started giving me a red flag. This that wasn't good because after watching the first two episodes, after we talked about it, I went back and rewatched them. And I'm like, oh, I kept finding problems with it. Remember I talked about how that captain was dumb. He let those fallen Jedi onto the ship. That was really oh, dumb. Well, I, was just I, I mentioned that. It wasn't very good because they haven't had any the rebellion. More, in the a more world. I'm watching this show, the more I'm like, this writing is not good. But at first we were excited, just like with all the other ones, because... The production values on this are amazing. It looks exactly like Star Wars. My only complaint about the production values, which is a minor gripe, is that it's almost like it's too clean. Because remember, Star Wars started where everything's used and yes, it's like this well, crap. But now, even though it's New Republic, everything looks perfectly clean as if it's High Republic time. Yeah, no, that's the wrong look. I don't well, like that. We it don't should really be more. Know, we haven't seen this time, so maybe they have like shined everything up. I don't know. They seem to be a bit green. As what we're seeing from this, Ahsoka, is that the New Republic is green, well, and they, they got don't really know. dumb troops. And they also didn't know that these other people were using their entire shipyard for the the enemy's uh, okay. basically you reasons. Know, but, you know how that know. could work. They could be really incompetent, but you have to Seems show like these incompetent. people being incompetent. Like that captain, if we had seen him on the bridge being dumb. He seemed incompetent. Okay? I just assumed But he if was. we had seen him being really dumb and just not doing his job right. very well and act and slacking off, it would be funny. And then if he's like, Jedi, ha! Well, and then if he goes and dies, yeah. like, make it more funny. That more would work that way. Of the New Republic. And it's in its weaknesses. It has a lot according to this show, but it's not really looking at it in that way. It's just sort of showing this is what's happening. Yeah. But I think there's a lot of weakness. Anyway, I did not like the scene. I thought the senators weren't acting professionally. What they said, I mean, it was telltale. That is obviously a bad guy. The guy that was the senator yeah. was talking. I, I just didn't like it. They at all. could have come up with a better way of writing it so that only Ahsoka and Sabine end up going to deal with this problem. Okay, so they go to deal with this, and they discover this giant hyperspace ring. Right. Okay, which, yeah, Someone I was right on what that is. Big. And they get into a fight, which it looks like they're, looks like the enemies there are flying World War II uh, fighters, but they're spaceships now. Yeah, They I look did. very much like I, Second World War second fighter planes. Second red flag when she's standing on the ship, and they have... Oh, that I didn't like. Their their ships are equipped to blow up other ships, but yet they couldn't even... They, they didn't have to try to hit her. All they had to do was hit the ship and blow it all up. Yeah, 
didn't well, make any sense. Yes, well, they're flying towards the hyperspace ring, and then they get deactivated because they get so shot up, but she can't shoot the ship that's right next to her? That no, makes, I know. I mean, maybe it would blow up and damage your thing, but... It was... It wouldn't have been better if they had just they have just been shot down and they crash-landed. On the thing itself. Yeah, that would have made more sense. Uh, I, I guess the I guess the space fight was okay, but then the end of it with like it. Ahsoka doing her Ray Skywalker yes. flip outside in space. That okay. made no sense because all they had to do was shoot her ship. They had bullets. Like I mean, these are not these are powerful ships that can blow up another ship in one shot. Yes. That made no sense. Yeah, they got big guns on them, right? And yeah, that was another problem. And then the third problem. So was... then when we then we saw the space whales. And at first, I was like, "Okay, I this looks this good. It looks good." But why are we watch? Why are we seeing the space whales? They, they did explain. In, they explained yeah. it a few minutes later. They so did. I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that at all. It's they just were that, in that other show. It's just at first, it's like, "Why are these these space whales?" I remember the space whales. Yeah, everyone remembers before. the space whales, which we they learned. What are they called? The <laughs> uh, pergill. They're called the pergill. Yeah. So it's a pod of pergill. They're space whales. So they're, this is their migration route. So they're going to go from here and then they're go, going to go to the other galaxy through this Looks hyperspace like uh, route that they've mapped out. Because right. you can't just fly through hyperspace wherever because you'll crash into things, right? So you have to have specific routes. Yeah, we saw those routes. And so before. this is one that's mapped out from another galaxy because they followed the migration routes of the space whales. And then they made a map and... The Night Sisters made a ca a Stonehenge calendar right. on oh, this yeah. Yeah. on this Sarantos planet, and so if you get both pieces of the map, and they did this thousands of years ago, what is this? Yeah, I don't What's get going on here? The map. Why is it all on that map? That's yeah, what and I that, don't get. And that's from thousands of years ago. Disappeared. Yeah. So, what? Well, no, he would have disappeared pre. Uh, well, like pre recently. Rogue One, pre Episode just Four. Recently. So there's got to the be last, at least like, couple of years. There's got to be at least ten years in between, uh, from the last time we saw them at the end of Rebels, till the beginning of this Ahsoka series. There's got to be at least ten he years. Think he could get a more. message to them. He wouldn't have to use that map. He could at least tell people where he was. Yeah. That he was because we to. see we see Jason, we see Jason Sandula, her kid, and he's like around ten years old. Okay. Because we saw him at the end of Rebels. Remember? She had the no. kid with the green hair. I don't really remember a lot of it. Okay. I remember the space whales. Okay. I only watched it once. It was a while ago. Fair enough. Like during the pandemic. My so we see her. Gone. They get into a space flight. We see the space whales. And then they go. They lose them and they go down and shut down everything in the forest. And that makes sense. And then we see Balin. Yeah. He's back at the... The Night Sister Stonehenge, and he's just been standing there the whole time. That didn't make sense. But what also didn't make sense is these are people of the Force. They can sense yeah, they're, them. They're Dark Force users. They can sense them. Good. They can sense Ahsoka. Should be able to. That's, that also didn't make sense to me. Unless he was meditating. Not to me. Maybe. That might come in handy because she's not good with the Force. I did enjoy that part. Like, she really sucks. Like, <laughs> yeah. Now, maybe he's been in a, a deep force meditation. I don't know, but why, why he's just, he just standing hanging out there? there with the red trees? Shouldn't he have been out there fighting as well, or at least with the uh, Morgan oh, on the with hyperspace the screwdrivers ring? drivers and putting that thing like, together? No, he'd be whipping all the soldiers. Uh, I don't all the know, workers but it didn't make much faster. sense why he was down there. Anyway, there was a few holes in this one that really, like, concerned me. So I hope it's not going to be, like, secret invasion. This, uh... Well, after I rewatched episode one and two, I, I went back and I was just not impressed at all uh -oh. about this whole thing about this map, I which is really reused get from the Force map. Awakens. I'm just taking Stop with this map crap. I'm just taking it on that they need to get this map. So this map from thousands of map. years ago, go to these temples from thousands of years ago to find this route to another galaxy. He knew so they about knew it, it from thousands of years ago. And that's their only clue uh, because they have to go where the space whales are because that's the last time they saw Ezra and Thrawn. Yeah, but why but would these other people what's with this convoluted... be looking for it too? Wouldn't they know where he was already because he's in league with them? No, they're trying to find Thrawn. I know, but they're building this whole device for it. Yeah, if they didn't have the map, a lot they of should this, know where he is already. A lot of this doesn't Maybe make I'm that much sense. Something. 
I don't know. I'm not digging the writing on this there. I know, I know it's Dave Filoni, and he does do some good stuff. He does do, like, I mean, those first two seasons of Clone Wars weren't exactly the greatest. They were, everyone admit, they're pretty boring. Remember. Yeah, you don't need to remember them. If you're watching okay. Clone Wars, just start with episode three. If I you watched it all. Okay. Um, I'm know, not enjoying this problems. right now. It doesn't make sense. The production it. values are great. Rosario Dawson's portrayal of Ahsoka is weird. One, she's always crossing her arms, and she's kind of a dick. She walks really slowly. Yeah, but she's really mean towards Sabine. And we've never seen the, like that character be be like that no. she's not a bully but she's just like she's, don't got time for any kind of thing she got treated by anakin i don't know but she was always so positive and she had the right reasons for leaving yeah. it wasn't because she was she left for certain reasons i don't know i don't i'm not really this problem so far but i hope that they get resolved and the other thing was, I know this is supposed to be eight episodes, but if they're going to be less than half an hour like this one, oh, it's just short. put two together so you get an hour episode. I was waiting for the rest of it. I rewound to see if I skipped something or something went wrong yeah. with my like this device. Having, <laughs> if we're getting hour and then we're getting like 45 minutes and then it's less than half an hour, so it's decreasing. What Nothing is much this? much happened in this whole episode. Basically... They went to this hyperspace thing. That's basically yeah. what the episode was about. I enjoyed about. the first five minutes. And Hu, Hu Wang, that's how you say his name? I'm saying it wrong. Hu Yang? Hu Wang. Um, Hu Yang. Hu Yang. Yeah, it's, it's H-U-Y. Okay. He, uh, like, he got disrupted. But, I mean, it should have been a bit of a challenge to get him back online or something. He just comes online. It was like this episode didn't make... Why bother with that? I don't know. They should have had to fix them. It could have been some kind of peril. It just seemed like they weren't in that much trouble. Yeah. And the guys couldn't shoot worth crap. And then they just landed on the planet and no one knows they're there, even though they're all force people. Yeah. I Sabine know. wasn't very good at shooting there, and she should be a lot better. I mean, wasn't she doing that a lot in Rebels? She's supposed to be not very good. But she's a Mandalorian. She's only good at Mandalorian things, but they're good at it. Mandalorians a lot of are all about weapons. That's part of their and religion. They're very fast and they're very good, but apparently she's not very good. Yeah, so she kept missing, but it looked amazing when they're showing the, the shots and everything and the ships are flying by. I mean, it's very. Okay, let's it's just very style over substance. Let's hope that it gets better. And this is okay. just huh. a little hiccup. I sure hope so. <laughs> Oh well, I'm not enjoying this right now, but I'm going to be staying up on Tuesday yeah, again to watch up. it. I won't be, I'll watch it the because, next day. Because, yeah, this doesn't come out at the best time for everyone no. because it comes out at 6 o'clock on the West Coast in California, in Vancouver, in Canada. It comes out at 9 o'clock on the Eastern side, so if you're in Eastern U.S. or if you're in Ontario or Quebec, like that's where Toronto, yeah, Montreal, yeah. big cities... But for us, way out here, maritime. it's 10.30 10 30 here. Our time. We have our own time. Okay? So. And it sucks that it comes out so late. <laughs> yeah, I know. But that's just our own gripe. Let us know what you think of Star Wars Ahsoka. Uh, are you noticing some problems in it? Are you enjoying it? Uh, I don't know. Let us know your thoughts, please. And thank you for watching this. And anyone who gives us a like, that'd be awesome. I think I'm going to watch them all again now.